Hey there internet, Beaver Chip here. <clears throat> this is video number six in the uh, basic tutorial but be beginner's guide to redstone circuits. Uh, this is the last video of the beginner level. Um, for this one we're just going to talk about some miscellaneous tips and tricks. Um, the first of which is the fact that a lever can power redstone circuit below it. Um, this is a really handy trick if you're trying to hide your redstone wiring underground. Um, so imagine that this first level is ground level. Um, you could put the wiring below it, turn the lever on, and it's powered from above. Um, so that's one really good trick for hiring wiring underground. A redstone current can be underneath the lever. Next thing I want to talk about is cases when you feel like you have to run wire side by side next to each other. Um, so let's say these two dirt pillars are something that we really can't move because it's part of our contraption, whatever we're building. Um, and we have to run wire, two wires in between here. Um, the problem with this is that the wires will connect whenever they are adjacent blocks. Um, so it's kind of short circuiting the circuit. And um, our intent might have been to have the left lever power the left piston and the right lever power the right piston. But what's going to happen is if I pull either lever, both pistons go up. Um, so that's not really what we want to happen. So what you can do is if you feel like you have to run wire next to each other side by side, uh, use repeaters instead. Repeaters, as I mentioned in a previous video, can only run current um, from back to front on one direction. Um, so even though these repeaters are side by side and it looks like this repeat or this current is going into this repeater, that's really not what's happening. It's really just going to be current from this lever down this wire through these two repeaters, out this wire and up to the piston. So these are two separated wires right now. And if I turn the left one on, I only get the left piston. And if I turn the right one on, I only get the right piston. So again, if you have to run side-by-side -side wires, uh, use repeaters instead. That way you don't get shorts in your circuit. The last thing I want to talk about in this video is um, similar to the last problem where we had wires that need to go um, kind of around each other, um, but we don't want to short the circuit and have them connect anywhere. So a good trick, um, especially if you have room to build like underground, is to have one, one wire cross the other wire at a different height. Um, so this is really easy to do, um, especially if you can dig down underneath the wire um, or you can build over top like I've done here. But that way the two wires stay separate. So we have the one wire going over top and the second wire going underneath, powering the piston in the back there. So that's it for uh, the beginner's level tutorials. Um, hopefully if you watched all the videos you've seen all of the different modules I've presented. Um, if you're looking for some further challenges, um, I plan on making an intermediate level um, of tutorial videos. I'll probably cover stuff like logic gates, um, more advanced circuitry, um, stuff you're going to need to make contraptions. Um, I don't plan on doing a whole lot of full tutorials on building contraptions. I have done a couple that are posted to my YouTube channel. Um, but i um, really looking for you guys to kind of take the basics and make creative projects out of it on your own. Um, so if you really like these videos, um, please give me a thumbs up or subscribe or whatever. Um, and if you happen to build anything, um, based on any of the information I give you in, in this series or the intermediate series. Um, you don't have to give me credit or anything because this is all just common knowledge. Um, but I do like seeing response videos. Um, say you built something really cool using an idea I presented in one of my videos. Um, just post a video yourself and let me see what you built. Um, I like to see all the cool things that you guys come up with. So thanks again for watching and check out my intermediate level videos if you want to know more.